Hello and welcome to our cabin tour of Inside Cabin A611. Let's go in and have a look. So now we're inside the cabin. As you can see on the back of the door, you've got all your emergency information and a note where your muster station is. Our muster station is muster station D. There is a slot here to activate the lights. And as you walk in, there are two light switches just here. Also, as you walk in, there is a full length mirror on your right. Well, in this cabin, there is anyway. There is a full walk-in wardrobe in this cabin that is as tall as me. <laughs> also, for some reason, there is a little side table. No idea what that's for, but if we find out, we shall let you know. There's plenty of coat hangers in this wardrobe, but if you need some more, ask your cabin steward. There is plenty of space here. The storage up here on the top shelf. A plenty of space for your cases or your shoes or whatever you like down here. In here is where you'll find plenty of storage shelves as well as your safe. This is a pretty good sized safe really. You definitely fit an iPad in here but you'd struggle with a laptop. Now let's go into the bathroom. This is quite a small bathroom, bijou I would say, but what there is in here is the dreaded shower curtain. The bathroom is a standard size with plenty of storage space, including some shelves as well as under sink storage. By the sink, you've got some of the white stuff hand wash. Within the shower, you are provided with a bath and shower gel and a shampoo. If you need any moisturising lotion or conditioner, please ask your cabin steward. Overall, the bathroom is light and airy and spotlessly clean. The only one disadvantage is, of course, the cloth shower curtain. But overall, very, very nice. The first thing you notice when you come in this area of the cabin is your air conditioning unit. You can turn it up or down using these buttons here. Within this cabin, there is quite a large vanity unit area with an absolutely huge mirror. Actually, in this cabin, there are lots and lots of mirrors, which is great. Lots of information on the desk as it's embarkation day. One chair, a bin underneath. On the desk, there's also located a phone. There are also two UK plugs and a light switch. Next to that is this small area here, another mirror, another plug. There is a small kettle, and tea and coffee making facilities. Underneath is a mini fridge. Here I'd recommend you getting some water as soon as you're on board and popping it in the fridge. Also under the desk here are two shelves and this is also where your hairdryer is located. Also there are one, two, three uh, shelves. There is a bed here in the centre of the cabin which is set up as a double but also can be split into a twin to speak to your cabin steward. At the back of the cabin, there is another huge mirror. There is plenty of storage space under the bed. Either side of the bed, there are these lovely bedside tables. Featuring a lamp, two drawers, which is great for storage. There is also two light switches located just behind the lamp. But what there isn't on this ship, being older, is any USB ports. We have now been in this cabin for a week for our full cruise and we just wanted to give you an update on what we think about it. For this cruise we just booked a P&O standard saver cabin and we were lucky enough to get upgraded to uh, an inside mid from an inside forward. We were a little bit apprehensive about the location because essentially there's a laundrette above us and there's a laundrette just a few doors down as well. However, pleased to say, we've not heard anything. So the things that did not work so well in this cabin, we're gonna give you those first because there is only a few because the majority of things in this cabin have been excellent. Our little gripe with this cabin is the TV. So the TV is watchable, the picture's okay. It's not the greatest or the, the most modern of televisions. The only issue with it is the sound. Uh, it's like the speakers have blown. And yeah, it's not the greatest viewing or listening experience. No, no. Last thing then is the shower for us. Being quite tall, you can't get your head under the shower very well because the shower head is fixed. So for me, Washing my hair is not as easy as it could be. All those things mentioned are very, very small and that would not affect us booking this cabin again. 
On to uh, the positives, and there are far too many to mention. We have had an absolutely amazing time in this cabin. The quality of sleep has been superb. It's been brilliant. Yep, so first of all, the bed. The bed has been so comfy. We have not had any problems with it, and actually the hardest part is getting out of the bed because it is so comfortable. If you've ever watched any of our vlogs or our cabin tours before, we tend to book an inside, and when we do, we always bring our sunrise alarm clock, and it does make getting up so much easier because it gradually increases the brightness of the room. You don't get that harsh light first thing in the morning when you turn it on for the first time. Second thing that's been great in this room is the aircon. We have never felt too hot, too cold. The temperature's been perfect for us. The room is light and spacious. There are mirrors everywhere, hence why we're sort of talking to you from a little angle, but they do make the room look so much bigger. Honestly, in terms of a comparison between this inside cabin and the one we stayed on, Arvia, you know, you can see just by the video quality just how well lit this room is. It's yeah. absolutely fantastic. So much better lit and it feels so much more spacious as well, doesn't it? The, the fact that you've got that walk-in wardrobe element to it really does make a difference. And the space to move around the sides of the beds, space of the cabin, really, really good. And finally, the most important positive that we've experienced is our lovely cabin steward. She has been absolutely fantastic. Can't do enough for us. She smiles and greets us every time we walk to and from the cabin. She was there literally the second we walked to our cabin when we arrived, asked her anything she could get for us. We did request, well I did request, a conditioner. I <laughs> and it was there waiting in the cabin the next time I arrived. Everything has been spot on. We've not had a trouble at all. Would we book this cabin again? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, fantastic. It is definitely one of the better inside cabins we've stayed in. And the most important thing is, is that we have felt like we've really enjoyed being in here. So that's our inside cabin tour and review. If you've got any comments or questions, just pop them in the box below and we'll get back to you. We've got lots of other cruise content on our channel. And in particular, we've got an Arvia inside cabin. So you can see the difference between a new and an old p &O ship. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more content available on our YouTube channel, so press that subscribe button. If you're interested in receiving daily updates, we're available on most social media platforms. Just search for Tom and Dom Travel.